Hi there, my name is Vic Veer. I'm an ENT consultant surgeon working for the National Health Service in central London. Now today I want to tell you all about radiofrequency ablation to the tongue base. I'll show you a video and explain why we use it, uh, explain what it is and how it works, and I'll show you before and after pictures as well. I use radiofrequency ablation to shrink down lingual tonsils. Now lingual tonsils sound like the palatine tonsils, the ones that everyone knows about which sit on either side of your mouth if you look in your mouth and people get tonsillitis from those. There are lots of different types of tonsils. The, the tonsil I'm telling you about is uh, the tonsils which are actually connected to these tonsils that everyone knows about which are sitting just there. These two tonsils aren't separated, they actually connect through the back of the tongue. So they sit here and they go down across the back of the tongue. So if this is the back of the tongue it sits there in the back wall of your throat. So if you're trying to breathe at night, that can come back and block off your breathing. So some people have this problem. They had, for example, their tonsils taken out when they're younger. They don't understand why they have snoring and sleep apnea now. If you look into their throat, particularly the drug-induced sleep endoscopy, you can see large lingual tonsils. And all you need to do is shrink those down so you can breathe past it so you don't have these sort of choking episodes and difficulty in breathing at night. Uh, the way radiofrequency ablation helps with that is by putting a probe, and I'll show you a video of this in a minute, putting a probe into that uh, lingual tonsil and watching it slowly shrink down over time. Now, the way it works is it dehydrates this tissue. One way to think of this is like a grape. When you dehydrate a grape, you leave it out in the sun in California, I guess, you get Californian raisins. They don't look the same size or volume as a grape, but they've shrunk right down to raisin size. And so you still have the fruit as such, but all the water has been extracted away. The same thing you can do to uh, tonsil tissue. You can shrink down that tonsil tissue so it's still there. You're not cutting anything away. You're not removing anything. However, it has shrunk down in size. And I'll show you this video now. So firstly, I want to apologize for the rather poor picture, but I think you should be able to see that there is an awful lot of tissue here on the back of the tongue, which is blocking the airway. Now on the right, you'll see the radio frequency needle, which will start ablating the lingual tonsil on the back of the tongue. As you can see here, it slowly causes the tissue to go white in appearance. And I've sped up the video to make it easier to watch. I will slowly ablate the whole lingual tonsil on both sides, making sure that I do not go into the sensitive muscle of the tongue. By avoiding this muscle, you can avoid most of the serious side effects of operating on the tongue. Because this is only a superficial technique and only treating the tonsil tissue on the back of the tongue, most people only notice a mild sore throat for a few days. Some people will also have a distortion of their taste sensation for approximately three weeks before it goes back to normal again. Some people also notice a feeling of a lump on the back of the throat as there is an initial swelling. Again, this slowly resolves over the next few weeks. You'll see here that there's already a little improvement in the airway, even after for a few minutes of doing this operation. You can see that more of the epiglottis, which is a part of the voice box, can be seen here. Most of the improvement is seen in about 6 to 12 weeks after the operation, when this tissue has slowly shrunk down. Here is the view of someone after this operation, and you can see that although there is still some tonsil tissue left behind, at least now this man is able to breathe and no longer has sleep apnea. So as you can see, radiofrequency ablation for the tongue base is really useful. It shrinks down that tissue so you can breathe behind it. Works really well for snoring and sleep apnea patients. This is just one operation of lots of different things you can do for snoring and sleep apnea. So subscribe to my channel. It helps me improve the content, bring out more content so I can explain more things you can do for snoring and sleep apnea. Thank you very much for watching.